I've never, hey, I've, I've never done this before. Today, for King and Country opens their home to you. When Joel isn't living on a tour bus, this is the place he calls home. And let's just say he doesn't hold back. This is the, the closet. <laughs> You're not gonna believe what you get to see. Can we do this? A camera on the move. All right, shall we? Let's go. You're in the living room. If you walk a few steps, you'll be in the kitchen. Um, this is, uh, come this way. This is pickles and prickles. What? Oh, yeah. There's two, you can see there's two. So my wife is Hispanic and, and every Christmas, um, we got had a Christmas tree this year, but when pickles and prickles was shorter, we got them when they were about this tall. Uh, we would put a sombrero on their head and wrap them in um, colorful Christmas lights. That's fun. We have to put them in this awkward spot because they actually outgrew the roof um, in the main room. Yeah. And so here they sit. You gotta be careful when you're walking through here at night. Our cat is in the, we have allergic people to cats. So she, that's our bedroom, but she's gonna stay in there. For King and Country has been on the radio how long? It, it, uh, it was 2012. Go back in time, any time before then, right? So yeah. And tell me, there's no way you guys could have imagined. No. What was in your mind? When we started out traveling with Rebecca, the joke was that dad needed um, a road crew, a cheap road crew. And he looked around and he saw that he had five sons. And it was really there that we learned the art of collaboration and compromise and, and how to really partner with one another well as siblings. And so now you fast forward, and all, of, uh, all five of the brothers, uh, sisters, mom, we're all kind of directly or indirectly involved. Um, in the For King Country band. And it, it wouldn't have happened if it weren't for those years mm -hmm. with Rebecca. So there's a lot of gratefulness, um, but a lot of, a lot of um, fear uh, uh, involved as well. Um, we have a great Dane who's not here. Have yeah, Meriwether is her name. And uh, so we have basically a feeding trough <laughs> for her as an extra bedroom in here. And, um, this is this for is, your dog? This is her feeding trough. That's impressive. So uh, twice a day, it's a whole thing. And Mariah is very <laughs> adverse to um, slobber or saliva. <laughs> and, and when Meriwether eats, it is just a festival of slobber. So. You and Mariah, how long have you been married? Seven years. Talking about moments in time, right? You said you fell hard for her, like you saw her and were like, ah, oh, mm -hmm. like the harps played and all of oh, it. All of it. All of it? Yeah, okay. all of it. Okay, tell me one thing you love about her today that you didn't know you loved about her then. Oh, that's good, Sandy. That's really good. I mean, there's so many things obviously I know about her today that I didn't know about her then. Um, again, we've been talking about this a lot lately, but she, uh, when we first met, um, she knew about me, but I didn't know about her. And she was, it was actually set up. She was a wedding crasher. Like a friend had oh, so left. So she was there? Yes, for me. Literally had no right to be at the wedding. The, her, our zealous friend uninvited her husband it, to bring Mariah as, in place of him as her plus one to introduce Mariah to me. Wow. So Mariah was already like, who's this guy? Like I've heard a lot. Um, and so she came across very kind of arm's length guarded guarded that night and honestly even through our dating relationship i told her i loved her on a southwest flight uh coming back from her, her parent her grandparents 50th wedding anniversary celebration and she replied with i need to go to the toilet uh, um and and then picked this wonderful moment a little while later out in california when the sun was setting to sort of tell me she loved and and it was wonderful but every step of the way she's she, through dating she was she was a few steps I was a few steps ahead or she was a few steps behind depending on how you look at it but in marriage the thing that I I value probably the most and the thing that um I didn't see coming was the moment she knew she could trust I think it's marriage, frankly, but me and marriage, and that we were in this for life. Um, you just, you could, she let her weight down and she has just in the last seven years, six months and however many days, has just, has, has beautifully trusted and, and, and leaned on and loved and, uh, 
that's what you hope for, right? And I think that's the great beauty of marriage is that you feel that safety and trust to sort of let your, your weight down. Um, but I didn't see it coming. It was a beautiful thing. And last but not least, the, this is kind of the work room. We're, we're, as we said, we're in the process of sort of moving. And so um, some stuff has been evacuated already. This is oh. the, the closet. You guys. Of wow. the, my wife, yep, put. Get um, one of those down. Would you like to? Yeah, a Grammy. Let me, let me load you up. It's one, two. You know how they do those? They're heavy. They're very heavy. You know how they do those pictures where they, um, they just all hold them at the same time? Yeah. So here you go. This is Sandy's, <gasps> Sandy's picture. This wow. one's around the wrong way. There you go. So tell us what these are for. So uh, <laughs> our second record, our sophomore record, Run Wild, Live Free, Love Strong, that was for Album of the Year. This is for... Um, uh, song of the year with Lecrae uh, Messengers our third record for Burn the Ships uh, album of the year and this is God on the Nose with Dolly Parton isn't that crazy most people live their lives and never <coughs> even see one of these you have four of them and you're not done well plus there's a devil yeah, ward I see a devil yeah, ward there's up there devil ward up there. that is pretty um, bizarre to me, you know, as a musician, I mean, you don't do it. Obviously, it's like radio. You don't do it for the, the, you know, the ratings and the accolades. But it sure is solidifying to know that you, people are saying, "Hey, job well done." You know. Oh, here's another little uh, little piece for you. Come around here, Becca. This is where we put our cell phones at night. So not in your room. No, I walk up here every night about six o'clock put my phone there and Mariah's phone there and then until the next morning we no cell phone it's a device detox How, have you done that your entire marriage or is that's a no, great no, idea they, by the way they they obviously and and occasionally they sort of graduate back into the room but for the most part we're pretty good about it now um we just found that they say the first eight minutes of a day are really important and and you sort of subconsciously even Whatever you're putting into your mind, I think that's why even like rising and praying or, or, or you know slowing down or reading or whatnot is so important in those first moments. But what you can tend to do, right, is you roll out and you just shoom, yep. and then you're in it. And uh, and we were doing that all the time. So this became uh, an opportunity to go. You know what? Let's just put them away. How fun to get a sneak peek into the homes of some of your favorite Joy FM artists. But what about a sneak peek into their minds and hearts as well? Click here to watch this powerful Healing Out Loud video with Joel from For King and Country.